Ever experience the flaky, buttery deliciousness of a Pakistani layered paratha? If not, prepare to be delighted as we embark on a culinary journey to create this traditional breakfast staple that has won hearts across the globe. Imagine two cups of all-purpose flour and a half teaspoon of salt coming together in a mixing bowl. They blend, forming the foundation for our paratha. Gradually introduce water into this mix, kneading until you achieve a smooth, elastic dough. The perfect dough is neither too soft nor too firm, but just right. Now it's time to shape the dough. Divide it into equal-sized balls, each approximately the size of a golf ball. Roll out each ball into a thin circle, about six to eight inches in diameter. Here comes the fun part. Brush the surface of the rolled out dough with ghee or oil. Next, fold the dough into a pleated fan shape, like a paper fan. This technique is the secret to those irresistible layers. Coil the pleated dough into a spiral shape, tucking the end underneath. Gently press down on the coiled dough to flatten it slightly. Now roll out the flattened dough again into a thin circle, being careful not to break the layers. This process will reveal the beautiful layers we've created. Heat a skillet or tawa over medium heat and place the rolled out paratha on it. Let it cook for one to two minutes on each side or until golden brown spots appear. Brush the paratha with more ghee or oil if desired. And voila, your Pakistani layered paratha is ready to be devoured. Hot, flaky, and absolutely delicious. It's perfect with your favorite curry or chutney. In summary, the key to a perfect Pakistani layered paratha lies in the dough and the folding technique. A well-kneaded dough and careful pleating will result in a paratha with distinct layers. Remember to cook it until golden brown for that perfect crunch. Enjoy the process and the results. A homemade, delicious layered paratha.